In this training module, I'm going to teach you how to add a driver to the TermPro library. Before you begin, you'll need to visit the manufacturer's website and obtain the teal small parameters for the driver you'd like to add. Once you have this information, launch TermPro and go to the driver library page. From there, click on the Add button on the toolbar at the bottom of the screen. Once you click on the Add button, a new window will open that says Add New Driver. Once the Add New Driver window opens, you'll notice that it's split into several different sections, with the top half being for required parameters and the lower portion for advanced parameters. The required parameters must be entered for every driver that you add to the library. Advanced parameters are optional. Let's get started. I'm going to use a kicker sub for this demonstration. So, when I move to the first field, the brand field, the program will tell me to enter the brand name for the driver. I simply type in kicker. I press the tab key to move to the next field and enter the series. In this case, I'm going to use an L7 sub. And then the model number, 41L7122. Pressing tab takes me to the first required parameter for the subwoofer, that is FS, or free air resonance. The FS for this driver, according to Kicker, is 33.35 Hz. The QTS is 0.692, and the VAS is actually given in liters. You have to be very careful when inputting driver data into the TermPro database because manufacturers, for whatever reason, seem to use a combination of English and metric units. For instance, right now, TermPro is expecting the VAS to be given in cubic feet. If you look in the parentheses, you'll see the little FT cubed symbol. We can click on the metric button down at the bottom of the window to switch to metric mode. Now, TermPro expects the value to be given in liters, and that's what Kicker is supplied. So the VAS for this driver is 38.88 liters. The next field is X max. The X max is 21 millimeters. And Term Pro is still in metric mode and is expecting a value in millimeters, so enter 21. The SPL at 1 watt 1 meter is 84.85 dB. The next field is the advertised driver diameter. Right now, the program is still in metric mode. So the program is expecting us to enter the diameter in centimeters. But the manufacturer has provided that information in inches. So I'm going to switch back to English mode. The driver diameter is 12 inches. The next field is the number of voice coils. This is a DVC woofer, so there are two voice coils. So I'd enter two. The next field is the driver's impedance per coil. Each of the coils in this subwoofer is 2 ohms, so I would input 2. And finally, the last required parameter is the maximum electrical power handling, or PE, of the driver in Watts RMS. For this sub, it's 900. At this point, we could save the data and start designing boxes. but It'd be nice if you could input a few more of these parameters. In the Advanced Parameter field, look for QES. Kicker provides this value. It's .736. And also QMS. The QMS for the driver is 11.52. Another advanced parameter that'd be nice to have is the depth of the driver. The depth of this sub is 20 centimeters. So when we find the depth, we'll notice that the program is still in English mode. That's, we can see that because it says IN for inches. So we need to switch back to metric mode. And Kicker provides a depth of 20 centimeters. The last value I'm going to enter is the SD. This is the effective cone area of the sub. This is important for this kicker driver because it's a square sub, and so the area is different than that of a circular driver. K 
picker gives this value as 635 square centimeters. And that's the mode we're in, square centimeters. So I'm going to input 635. Once you have all the information entered, click on the Save button, and Term Pro will add the driver to the driver library. The entered values will now show up on the left-hand side of the screen, and this is a good time to do a sanity check. You'll want to compare the numbers that you entered and that are showing up here against the information that's shown on the spec sheet or on the website for the manufacturer. You can see that it's easy to add a driver to Term Pro, but you need to make sure that you're careful and that you input the information that the program is asking for. Thanks for watching.